Okay, so uh, now that that's all downloaded and installed, what we're going to go through is configure it now. So the first thing we're going to do is configure the TV server. Obviously, if you don't have a TV server, you won't need to do this step. Um, don't worry about that. I just cancel it. Um, <coughs> if you have issues with your TV tuner, then um, that's something that you may need to look at. But uh, otherwise, you can cancel it. So over here, you just go down to I go TV service, um, and that's the server media pool master, and that's the streaming port for um, our client server situation. So in here. Uh, as you can see, I've got two local tuners, um, and you can see that priority one means it's the lowest. So what I normally do is, <coughs> sorry, I'll um, I don't listen to that, and I normally just get rid of that. And if you go back out, it'll um, clean it up, restart the service, so we can come back in. Just cancel that again. So there you have it. There are my two tuners. Um, if we really want to, we can kind of move it down to the lowest. So um, the TV tuners have the priority. So again, it's just because we changed the uh, priority. Cancel that. So okay. So if you click into the tuner itself. Uh, this is where you go and you can scan for your free-to-air channels. So <clears throat> I'm in Australia in um, Queensland, Brisbane. So there. Um, I tick create a group. Don't worry about that so much. Um, and I'll tick that. And all we do then is go scan. And this is a dual tuner cards. That's why I've got two tuners there, so you could record a channel and watch a channel simultaneously, or you could record two channels simultaneously. Um, you can actually, actually with two tuners, you can actually watch and record up, up to four shows simultaneously because channel seven has seven two and um, seven mate, and nine has jam. So you can, and they're on the same frequency, so um, you can actually record both channel 7s and both channel 9s simultaneously. <coughs> you do just have to be a little bit careful with that, um, with the speed of your computer, and your hard drive, and etc. Anyway, so I, um, I don't have the best reception here, so it usually doesn't pick up every single channel. Um, but it picks up most of them, so when it finishes, you can see there, there are the channels it picked up, so that's all good. Go to the second tuner, do exactly the same thing, and um, scan. <coughs> so you've got to do it one for each channel, basically. So it doesn't take too long, it'll be done very shortly. There we go. And then, once this is done, we'll go through and uh, we'll clean it all up, um, remove the, the duplicate channels um, because the duplicate channels that digital have, and put them in the order, top to bottom, that um, you prefer. So that uh, you know, like. Your two favorite channels, not one one's not at the top and the other one's not at the bottom of the screen if you're going to switch between the two. So just let this finish this um, almost done. And uh, then we'll go and we'll clean it up. There we have it. I don't get SPS and I think that's SPS and the last one's uh Breeze 31 or something like that. Okay, so that's done. That's pretty much it for scanning. We there's nothing else to do there. So then we, if you click over to channels here, you've got these tabs. So it's grouped them all. So what I'll do is in here, um, it's you can see it's 
written by channel. So you can see there's two and then channels 21, 22 and 23. So what I'll do is I'll usually, um, sorry if we go back here, I'll usually go and untick the ones that I don't want. So that's channel 7, so 1, 2, 3, 24 news, 31, we'll leave it. So we've got a duplicate of 7 digital, so I'll get rid of that one. 7 digital 1, I'll get rid of that one. 7, 2, 7, mate. I don't listen to the radios. So then we've got gem, 9, 11, and duplicate of 1, so I'll untick it. So once I've unticked it, I'll go back here and um, I'll find the ones that have been unticked and I actually just delete them. It just cleans it all up. So delete, um, delete, delete, so that when you go into the TV guide later they don't show up. <coughs> so, so there you have it, channel 9, channel 7, 10, <coughs> excuse me, ABC and 31 digital. So there are the channels. So there we have it. I'm just having a look where, we'll come back to this and um, just remember the, the order that's there. So it's ABC 1, 2, 3 and then news and then 31 digital 7 then basically 10, 9. So, because <clears throat> when you want to change the order in your TV guide, you do it in here. So we'll just keep that as it is. So we'll go TV combinations. I actually don't normally do much with that. In here, because we've deleted the channels that we don't have, all of these will be mapped. So you can see for both of them. So they're the same. That's it for that. If we go to radio, okay, all the channels are gone, that's good. So in here, I'll always, I'll always tick, um, always try to help fill the holes, and um, I always tick that just to try and keep it up to date as much as possible. And in here, store data only for selected channels. So um, we, I'll tick them all. Okay, got nothing here, that's good. So now we go to general. Um, don't have to worry about those so much, we can just leave that. Okay, so for with recording, <coughs> so here it says pre and post recording. So this is where you can change um, when and when it, when it starts to record and when it stops after the program. So you can see here it starts seven minutes before the program. I've had issues where it's, um, I've missed the beginning of the show, so I, I usually put this out to 10, and I'll put this out to either 15 or 20, so let's just say 15 for this one. Um, so yeah, just you can just read through, and the rest of it's pretty um, self-explanatory. Don't worry about that too much. Um, I enable disk quota, on, especially on C drive, the main drive, so that it doesn't get too low, I normally put it to about 2 gigs, rough. Um, here, <coughs> these are where the recording, um, recorded shows are stored. So um, as you can see, it's it's kind of deep, a few levels down. So, um, and you, you need to do it for both your cards, if you've got more than two cards. Uh, you need to do it for all of them. So, what where I usually store them is I usually store them somewhere easy to see. Um, I'll put I usually just put in TV recordings on a drive and then go same recording for all folders. So you'll see that both cards will record to that folder. And um, depending on my space and whatnot, I'll uh, go through and. Um, change them if need be. The other one is time shifting. Changes, yes. The other one is time shifting. That's 
Um, that's kind of like the buffer. <clears throat> so these seem to work fine um, as default. Uh, if you really want to play around with it, you can change it here. So um, you can change, I don't really change this so much purely because it gets deleted um, anyway, so it, it won't fill up or you know you won't see it. Um, but you can change it. So then we'll go next. Schedules, nothing there. Streaming server here. So <coughs> IP address used by the server. So you can put um, auto. I have a fixed IP address, so I'm just going to um, change it to fixed IP. So restart, yes. I have a fixed IP anyway, so I might as well set it. Um, this is so where you can you can do some testing if you need. I'm not going to um, worry about any of these. <coughs> Plug in here. In here, we'll go through this a little bit later, but um, the power scheduler, I use the power scheduler plugin. What that allows me to do is, um, because I don't have my server running 24-7, so because I use it as a uh, client as well. So what you can do is you can tell the you can tell the server to shut down after it's been idling. So once it's recorded a show um, in the middle of the night, for instance, and you're not there, it'll automatically go into hibernate, so it's not wasting power. So for me, I usually put this as uh, <clears throat> 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes so um, remember when I set the uh, recording before that after the show uh, where was it yeah stop recording 15 minutes after the show ends and then in my power scheduler another 5 minutes after that if there's no activity it'll uh, 20 minutes after that it'll automatically go to hibernate. So the other thing is wake up server for various wake up events. Shut down mode, you can tell it to stay on or hibernate or suspend. I um, tell it to go into hibernate. I haven't had too many issues with that hibernation. Um, I normally tell it to force down just in case something else is going on and is keeping it up unnecessarily. Reinitialize service on wake up. Also reinitializes tuna. Yeah. Um, yes or no? I um, will tick that depending on uh, just trial and error. Just see what works the best. So that's fine. I don't prevent it from grabbing. I'll prevent stabbing when grabbing. Yes. I don't thought to wake up particularly just to grab TV guide because uh, I get the free to air these things yeah you can read there these things can prevent the standby so network monitor also prevent <clears throat> so you know if there's uh, some activity I put it up to five is there some activity on the network like I'm copying um, shows across or um, doing something it won't just automatically shut down on me so um, that's that's the PAL scheduler, so that's very handy. Um, the other thing you've got to be sh sure of is that you must set uh, Windows to hibernate, which we did in the PAL settings before. So that, that's pretty much for the TV server configuration. So we'll exit this and the next next thing we'll do is we'll go to the Media Portal configuration itself.